so my room has gone through many renditions. Dear Diary, I started my DIY adventure. I have made a TV console inspired by a company called Urban Outfitters. I know it's trendy, but I couldn't help myself. Then I DIY'd a bench because every bedroom needs a sitting area. Then I decided to challenge myself some more. I attempted a thrift flip, and I believe I was successful. I decided to DIY some beautiful table lamps to go with said thrift flip, but sadly, my husband did not like this. To please him, I DIY'd a modern pendant. I'm going to attempt to DIY a headboard and finish this room refresh. P.S. Don't buy anything online from Joanne. We might be changing our bed. We might be upgrading to a king. This is a queen. This is actually a Tempur-Pedic, which I actually really hate because it's extremely hot and the bed's too hard for me. It's perfect support for my husband, but since he's a hot sleeper, this was not a good mattress to buy. And also, even though this has like the cooling top, it's not, it's not very cool. It's extremely hot. So I still need to do my husband's nightstand. Originally, he wanted me to leave it alone, but he saw how mine turned out, so I got the go-ahead. So let's do that really quickly right now. Okay, it's done. Um, if you missed that episode, I'll link it in the description, but you can see how I um, refurbished the nightstands. For audio, some voicing over. All I was rambling on about was needing to patch the holes on the door frame, caulking it, and then painting it. Then I start to tell you about replacing the molding with a quarter round so I have access to that panel. I need to move my mirrors that I have over my nightstands and put them on this wall. So I am going to remove this picture. I am actually going to lower that and cover that panel but that's okay. I know I didn't want to cover the molding because that would be more work to remove. This way if I need to this is actually really easy to take off if we need to have access to that panel. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to patch, paint, and move the mirrors over. Okay, so here it is and it's completed form. I did put the mirrors up. I'll pop a picture of it right now. I did not like the way the mirrors looked. They looked too heavy. And since I wanted to bring some blue into this room, I do like the colors blue, I decided to bring in this photo. I might change my mind and put back the other one. I actually really like the other one too. So I don't know, I had to redo my son's room. He said he wants this picture, so maybe I might switch it out to this one. We'll see, I gotta live with it for a little while. Okay, so we're bringing in the bed today. Let's see how that turns out. So this is, the bed that we're bringing is just a simple bed frame from Home Depot. I, the mattresses are from Helix, so this is kind of like a cheaper version of sleep number for us. So we got two twins and we're going to combine them to make a king size bed. That way my husband could get his firmest, firmest, uh, can't speak today. That way my husband could get his firmness, gosh, firmness level and I could get my softness that I've really been looking forward to because this bed's way too hard for me and it makes me sweat like crazy. Okay, this is embarrassing, but it's very dirty in here. I'm gonna need to clean that out before I put this in my son's room. Okay. Okay, so for my room refresh, I still need to do my lampshade and I'm hoping to empty out this pot. My poor monkey flower died, but I'm gonna reuse this pot in my room. So I'm either gonna put the faux palm in here or the faux bamboo, I'm not sure yet. And I think that's it for today and then later hopefully tomorrow I continue what I'm gonna do for the room. I need to start 
on the headboard. I'll probably pick up the lumber probably Sunday because tomorrow we're gonna go and see Meme, which is my little one's grandma. So all I'm doing here is using poster board from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna put it on top. Trace this out as best I can. I'm gonna cut out the circle and then you'll see what I'm gonna be doing after. So I know it looks like a lot of trash, but I'm gonna use it to give my plant some height. Okay. Let's get started. Okay, I just realized something. I'm going to have to put this pot on top right here. Cut out the center. So all I'm going to do is cut this part out. get away with using rocks. I do actually have some rocks from the Dollar Tree in here that are falling out. But I'm going to try using the moss first. And this should needs to go with my vacuum cleaner. Not sure what's in here. here. So we had a Tempur-Pedic. Way too hot for me. Way too hot for my husband. Way too hard for me. He loved the firmness on it. I hated it. I would wake up with my arm numb. Um, I hate, just hated that mattress. So we finally decided to switch it because we didn't want to get rid of the mattress. We only had it for like three years and it was an expensive mattress. It was almost like $6,000 for a queen. And these two twins, we got two twin extra larges from Helix and combined they make a king size bed so even these two were still cheaper actually half the price of what the Tempur-Pedic was and this is actually still cheaper than getting a sleep number bed so this way he gets his firmness I get my softness and then they both have the cooling um, gel in them and they keep me pretty cool even when I touch it it's nice and cool but I don't feel it as much through the sheets but it is a lot cooler than the Tempur-Pedic so I'll combine it. We already slept on them already. Um, this gap doesn't really bother us because we kind of stay on our own sides, but I bought this little kit. It's a piece of foam that goes down the center and then the strap that goes around the side to help hold it, but we haven't had any problems because there's actually like a sticky pad underneath our bed frame that helps keep the mattress in there, but I'm still going to use this kit. So that way in the future, in case that stickiness comes off, it, you know, the mattresses still stay. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, that was 
easy. See how it looks like with the sheets on, but I don't know, even without the um, center divider, I didn't really notice it with our sheets. So, but I had the quilt on, so I couldn't really tell. So I am going to put on the sheets and we're gonna see how it looks like. Okay, it's done. It's not too noticeable. So once you put your quilt or duvet or whatever you want to put over it, I don't think it's noticeable. But if you have like silk sh sheets type of thing, you'll probably be able to notice it. Or you did like a lampshade. I actually did the matching lampshade for my husband's lamp, but he did not like it. Um, he actually preferred having the pendant light. The reason I didn't like the pendant light was because we had the cord running on, around, uh, on the back. And so I came up with a solution. I'm going to DIY him a pendant light and I decided to use um, a rechargeable light bulb that way I don't have to have wire hanging on the back of the wall it could just be attached to the ceiling Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I want to say a quick thank you for those of you who have subscribed. Thank you very much, and if you haven't, please do so, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload a new DIY. You guys have a good day, a good week, and I'll see you next time. Bye!